Everyone is always asking me, George, can you please tell me how does fast exponentiation work? And I always reply, please leave me alone, I'm not George. But today I will show you how it works and why you should use it almost every time. So imagine you want to calculate, for some unknown reason, 3 to the power of 1 million. Naively, you will just assign 1 to some result variable and multiply it by 3 a million times. That would be cool, but what if I told you that instead of 1 million you can do only 20 operations? Let's take some smaller examples so my hand doesn't fall off. If we want to calculate 3 to the power of 100, we can just calculate 3 to the power of 50 and then multiply that by itself. So now we need to calculate 3 to the power of 50, then we calculate 3 to the 25th, then multiply it by itself. Then we can't really divide it by 2, so we just calculate 3 to the power of 24 and multiply it by 3. To get 3 to the power of 24th, you calculate 3, you hopefully you get the idea. In the end, we have to calculate this many values instead of 100. Sometimes we don't want to do that. For example, when we're going to use a lot of powers in our code, then it might be better just to store them all in a separate array instead of calculating them on the fly. Follow me if you want to max out your coding.